morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Sakala with some more math fluency. And as always, we're going to start out with our flashcards. You should be practicing that, these at home every day. So far, we've done zeros, ones, twos, and threes. All right, do them with me. Remember, we're quick, quick, quick. One plus five equals six. One plus zero equals one. Three plus two equals five. One plus one equals two. One plus four equals five. One plus two equals three. Zero plus two equals two. Zero plus five equals five. Zero plus zero equals zero. One plus three equals four. Zero plus three equals three. Zero plus one equals one. Zero plus four equals four. Zero plus two equals two. Three plus one equals four. Three plus zero equals three. Two plus three equals five. Two plus two equals four. Two plus one equals three. Good job, keep practicing at home until you get lightning fast. All right, it's time for some happy counting. And if you remember, when my finger goes up, we count up. When my finger goes down, we go down. Let's start at nine today. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. All right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten. All right, now it's time to be those rocket ships. Stand right up, and we're going to count down, and you're going to get lower and lower until it's time to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off. Great job. Now, the first game we're going to play today, you're going to need a deck of cards when you play it at home and have mom or dad or grandma go through and pick out pairs that will equal nine. And then you're gonna to try to match them up to see. So the first one we have is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We wanna to get to nine, we're at eight. How many more will we need? The one. So then you'll make the match and you'll put them together so they equal nine. Eight plus one is nine. Good job. Now then, I have this one, one, two, three. So if I start at three, and I know I wanna to get to nine, let's see what my partner is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna need six more until I get to nine. So three and six equals nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this time I have a five. Remember, I wanna to get to nine, so let's see what I'm gonna need. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna match them up, and I have nine. So go ahead and try that at home if you have a deck of cards. And the last thing we're gonna to do today is our word problem. And it says, it is laundry day. We have nine extra socks. Some are green and some are blue. So I drew nine socks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it says some are green. So it doesn't tell us how many. So we get to decide. Hmm, I think I'll make of them green. The rest are blue. 
So I'm just gonna color really quickly because I don't wanna spend a lot of time during math doing coloring. So, but I wanna make sure we know that these ones are the blue. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my number bond. How many did we start with? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine. Nine is our whole. What are our parts? How many are green? And how many are blue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I had nine, my parts are two and seven. Let's write it as a subtraction sentence. I had nine. Two of them, minus two, were green. How many were blue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine minus two equals seven. Now what I would like you to do is on a piece of paper or your dry erase board, I want you to do this problem, but do it a different way. Make your socks different. Don't do two and seven. Pick some different numbers. And then I'd like you to do that and send it to your teacher. Have a great day and stay tuned for Mrs. Knight's lesson. Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Knight. We're back again for another uh, subtraction lesson on the number nine. But before we do that, let's do a little bit of warm up. So we talked about how the word less means to take away. So I want you to see that number line. Remember we talked about it yesterday. I made it from those two um, paper towel holders. And there's a little dog, Littlest Pet Shop. She's sitting on number nine. That will be our focus number today, again. So she's on number nine, and right now I would like you to show me what would be one less. Think quietly to yourself. It would be jump back eight. So I'm gonna move her to a number on the number line and think what would be one less, and you shout it out. Ready, set, we're gonna move a little fast. Let's go. Six, one less, five, you are correct. She's gonna go on the number 11. What is one less? Correct, 10, she jumps back on the number line one. All right, she is sitting on the number five. What would be one less? Correct, it would be a four. So every time she just jumps back one, one less means you're taking away one. Great. Okay, we're gonna move her. We don't need her anymore. We'll pick these up. And what we're going to do is go to our math toolkit, find your book or a piece of paper. Remember how we divide it into a workspace of four. So let's open it up. I have my blue smelly marker. It smells like blueberries, one of my favorites. A line here, top and bottom. I can put a number one, two, and then I'm going to move to the back side, draw my line, and then I'll put a three and a four, four spaces to do a little bit of work. All right, let's get started. Okay, you can put that down. Here's my number nine today. We're going to be working with some blocks. So here is a tower of blocks. Sometimes our towers go this way. Today they're going to go this way. So I have nine blocks in that tower. I'm gonna to put my white piece of paper to match your first workspace. So this would be space number one, okay? So I have nine blocks and four have been taken away. So I'm gonna count out four. I'm gonna pull them apart and I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm gonna draw a little picture to match that. So since they're blocks, I'm gonna do squares. One, two, three, four, five. So I draw a square, one square, and then I just add on to it, four over here. So now this picture matches mine with my blocks, and now I'm gonna put a number sentence with it. I had nine blocks all together. I took away four, and how many are left? Well, I can either look here and go one, two, three, four, five, or I can check on my picture. One, two, three, four, five. I have five left. 
if I was to put this into a number bond, let's make that number bond. I'll put it over here. I have some room. A bigger circle, our two lines, two smaller circles. There's our parts. And we say to ourselves, part, part, whole. Oh, my whole was nine because I had nine total. And my parts would be my four that I took away and my five of what was left. All right, so there's our first one done. All right, let's try our second one. You move down on your paper. I'm gonna flip my paper over. And I'm gonna put these back to nine. So I'm going to start, I have nine. And this time I'm going to take away six. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take away six. Oh, they didn't quite go. Six. Okay, so let's draw that picture. I have nine all together. Three are left on this side. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six over here. Remember, if I go a little too fast, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can pause me and catch up. So I had nine all together. Six of them have been pulled apart or taken away. Take away six. If I want to, I could even cross them out. We had practiced that, how we take away on paper, we cross them out. How many are left that would be up here? Let's check, either on your paper or mine. One, two, three. There it is on the paper. One, two, three. Okay, let's put it into a number bond. Big circle, my two lines, part, part, whole. My whole is what I had all together when they were together, nine. And then my two parts would be my six and my three. Because six plus three equals nine. Great. All right, let's try one more. Number, this would be number three. So you'd be on the back of your paper. All right, I'm gonna put these back together. And this time I have nine total and I am going to take away one. Hmm, so let's put that as, let's draw the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because there's eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I took apart or took away one. So my sentence would, number sentence would be how much all together? Nine, take away one. On paper, we pulled it away from the group and I'm gonna cross it off. Equals, how many are left? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, let's make that number bond. Circle. Our nine would go here because it's the whole. We had nine all together. And I have a one, which could go in either circle, and an eight that are my parts. Eight plus one equals nine. So this last one, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna let you do this one on your own. So you draw a picture, a number sentence to match my cubes. And this will be your extension for today. All right, let me just pull these apart. So I had nine all together and this group was taken away. Take a look at that, how many are there? I'll help you count and then you can do, finish this. One, two three, four, five, six, seven. So you draw a picture to match, do your number sentence, and then make your number bond. And then you can have mom and dad check to see how you did. Bye boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, I miss you.